Travis Stevens here with Direct Pivot Parts. Today we're going to be going over the testing of an Eagle Percent Timer. This here is an Eagle Percent Timer. It's a 0 to 60 cycle time, which means that's how many times it moves every 60 seconds. They adjust from 0% to 100%. 0% means not moving. 100% means moving 100% of the time. On the back of, the, back of this, there's usually four terminals. Two of them are E and two of them are normally open. And we're going to be using our Klein automatic 500 meter. How we do is it's an automatic. It reads volts or ohms. Touch it together to make sure it ohms out correctly. We could ohm out our coil. And it should read open. That's your E terminal. E terminal should read open. And then you could go to ground, which would be anywhere in the panel. We'll use this bolt as an example. And it should be open. If it beeps, it is bad. Or if this coil beeps, it's bad with the wires undone from it. Your E terminal has power to it all the time when the pivot is moving. Then you have terminals two and three, which when we ohm out should read open. If you have voltage to it, whatever percent you have on, it should, it should close for a certain amount of time and then open, depends on the percent you have it on. If it's opening and closing uh, on 50% on that allotted amount of time you have set to your stopwatch, it's, your percent timer is good. If it's on 100% of the time, that means it is bad. Or if it is off 100% of the time, it is bad. This, and on your E terminals, if you have voltage going into it, it should test 120 volts across all the time. Uh, on, your, uh, on your two to three terminals, from your neutral, which is your white wire in your panel, to your two or three, it depends which way you have it wired, but it should read 120 volts on one side and 120 volts every so often, depends on your percent timer as it goes. And that is how you test an Eagle percent timer or any other percent timer. These timers will work in any style of electric pivot. Check us out at www.directpivotparts.com.